to today's headlines. Abiyal Udlums Kill Soldier Hami Guns Down to Abiyal Udlums Kill Soldier Hami Guns Down to So my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from please stay tuned as I reach to this news. Reports reaching newsmen have stated some soldiers in charge of the 14th Brigade in Abiyal State have brutally killed two hoodlums who they were regarded as suspects who killed their fellow members. It was gathered by newsmen that the hoodlums had earlier killed a soldier at the Eben Market on Wednesday, August 17, 2022. According to a statement offered by an eyewitness, he said, The murdered soldier was among those who just passed out for military deport. He didn't argue with them, nor did anything transpire between him and them. Following a distress call, the army went there and saw the gunmen and killed two of them. Their pump action rifles, machetes, and two motorcycles were collected. Speaking of which, one member of the soldier in the Abalti barracks had been arrested by policemen in the area for disobeying the ban of Okada given by the state government. But some soldiers in charge of that Albalti barracks, Suruleri area of Lagos, have injured three policemen for arresting their member. Reports reaching newsmen have stated some soldiers in charge of the 14th Brigade in Abia State have brutally killed. Two hoodlums, who they were regarded as suspects who killed their fellow members. It was gathered by newsmen that the hoodlums had earlier killed a soldier at the Eben Market on Wednesday, August 17, 2022. According to a statement offered by an eyewitness, he said, The murdered soldier was among those who just passed out from military depot. He didn't argue with them, nor did anything transpire between him and them. Following a distress call, the army went there and saw the gunmen and killed two of them. Their pump action rifles, machetes, and two motorcycles were collected. Speaking of which, one member of the soldier in the Albalti barracks had been arrested by policemen in the area for disobeying the ban of Okada given by the state government. But some soldiers in charge of that Albati barracks, Suruleri area of Lagos have injured three policemen for arresting their member. Reports reaching newsmen have stated some soldiers in charge of the 14th Brigade in Abia State have brutally killed two hoodlums who they were regarded as suspects who killed their fellow members. It was gathered by newsmen that the hoodlums had earlier killed a soldier at the Ibem market on Wednesday. August 17, 2022. 
according to a statement offered by an eyewitness, he said, The murdered soldier was among those who just passed out from military depot. He didn't argue with them, nor did anything transpire between him and them. Following a distress call, the army went there and saw the gunmen and killed two of them. Their pump action rifles matched and two motorcycles were collected. Speaking of which, one member of this soldier in the Albauti barracks had been arrested by policemen in the area for disobeying the ban of Okada given by the state government. But some soldiers in charge of that Albauti barracks Suruliri area of Lagos have injured three policemen for arresting their member. Reports reaching newsmen have stated some soldiers in charge of the 14th Brigade in Abia State have brutally killed two hoodlums who they were regarded as suspects who killed their fellow members. It was gathered by newsmen that the hoodlums had earlier killed a soldier at the Eben Market on Wednesday, August 17, 2022. According to a statement offered by an eyewitness, he said, The murdered soldier was among those who just passed out from military depot. He didn't argue with them, nor did anything transpire between him and them. Following a distress call, the army went there and saw the gunmen and killed two of them. Their pump action rifles, machetes, and two motorcycles were collected, speaking of which, one member of the soldier in the Abauti barracks had been arrested by policemen in the area for disobeying the ban of Okada given by the state government. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop.